Hi everybody, this is Cheryl, and um, today we have a special day at our house. It's gotcha day, and I'm going to explain that, um, but I'm going to start out by introducing our pets to you. This here is Blue. The, he is the first pet we got. Um, he's almost uh, four years old, or he just turned four years old. Um, we've had him a couple of years. Yeah, look in the camera. Say hi to everybody. Blue is a Beagle and English Bulldog mix. A uh, Beagle. Oh, yeah, we often joke and say he looks like a Beagle on steroids <laughs> because the way he does. Built. He um, does stay locked up because we have an issue with him uh, yeah, chewing up, up, chewing up stuff, and for some strange reason, yeah. he likes to do his business in our living room. So we have to keep him locked up. Um, but he's our, our first baby. Our first fur yeah. baby. Yes, he is. <laughs> and um, he was um, kind of a rescued dog. Um, you know, he, he was not really nicely treated. He was, we got him when he was 10 months old. And it took a lot of work to get him over being afraid of people but he's our baby now yes okay and i'm gonna let angel take him well i'm going to oscar oh you got him okay okay our second pet come here baby yeah i know was oscar and we got oscar the same year that we got blue and his family had to move because they had got a different job and where they were moving to they could not take him with him so we got him uh we got him when he was two years old he's now almost five and he's uh been declawed uh, and neutered so he stays in the house with us all the time we call him our fat cat every winter he puts on an excess weight and so we have to <laughs> watch his diet but he has a mind of his own but he tolerates our dogs um yeah he's our sweetie yeah and then our latest pet there you go baby is our reason for today Happy because hi, i know i know i know you love me here <laughs> this is sebastian and one year ago today, we got him. So today is Sebastian's gotcha day. And gotcha is a term that's used by a lot of parents who adopt children. And it's the day that they actually got to uh, bring that child home to, to live with them. And so we, we apply it to our animals. Sebastian just turned a year old in December, December 1st. He's a Boston Terrier, and he is a spoiled, rotten little brat. But we love him much. Um, and because it's his gotcha day, uh, Angel makes a special treat for their pets, our pets, on, or our dogs on their special days or for Christmas or, you know, whatever celebration we're having. And uh, having the treat was on his birthday. Yeah. And so she's going to show you how to make this treat. It's super, super easy, and the dogs love it. So um, I'm going to turn it over to. <laughs> He's got his paw up here. He's so funny. <laughs> um, so Angel's going to show you how to make this treat, and I'm going to go take care of this little brat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You get your stuff? Yep. Okay. All right, so all you'll really need for this is oh, peanut butter and whatever dog food you have uh, for your pets. You'll need a couple spoons, a bowl to serve it in, and a bowl for mixing it in, a bag to crush all your dog food up in, and a rolling pin or whatever crushing item. See fit to use. So basically, what you really do is 
You want to crush your dog food up. Hey, baby. Uh, not to a powder, but to kind of a, just, just till it's kind of crumbled. And you can choose, yeah, just kind of crumbled up in there. Some of it's in a powder form by now, but yeah. uh, what you're going to do is kind of pour your crushed dog food into your bowl. And you can actually measure out your peanut butter. Um, but I choose not to, simply because I, I don't care. So, you're going to take one of your spoons and just put peanut butter in the bowl. Can you give me a paper towel? Uh, and the reason I use two spoons is I don't want to use the mix, I don't want to put the mixing spoon back into the peanut butter, simply because, well, you don't want to have dog food in your peanut butter, am I right? <laughs> that wouldn't taste very good. <laughs> so, uh -uh. Nope, you cannot have this paper towel. So, let's take... He's licking his lips. <laughs> yeah, you know what this is, huh? So just put peanut butter into the bowl and mix it in with the dog food until you're satisfied with with how much peanut butter is in there. Add some more. And if you want, you can use three spoons to, to scoop it off the spoon and into the bowl if you don't want to use your fingers. But it really doesn't matter, however you want to do it. But just mix in the peanut butter until you're happy with how it turns out. And that should be good. And then let's take a little serving bowl and scoop it in there. Our little Bratton just loves this tree. There we go. Alright. And there you go. Just a simple little tree. Just literally peanut butter and dog food. <laughs> Not exactly safe for human consumption, but definitely safe for doggos. Yeah. Over here. your treat. Yeah, there's his treat. He so, loves it. <laughs> so happy gotcha day, and remember you can you can uh, celebrate anything. Um, we love celebrating with our pets. We get them birthday presents. We get them Christmas presents. Usually they they are calls. part of our family. So um, just you know enjoy it, and I'm gonna let him enjoy his peanut butter and dog food. And you all have a very nice day.